Coming up, it's Green Bay and Arizona, a series that dates back to 1921. The Cardinals have won four of the last five meetings, and they look to add another one on Thursday night. EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to the Valley of the Sun at State Farm Stadium here in Glendale. It's certainly hot outside here in the desert, but somehow this Cardinal crowd turned up the heat a moment ago. They were in a frenzy as their team emerged from the tunnel, and the Cardinals are set to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gaudney. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Taken from about the 12. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Arizona Cardinals offense coming out here for the first time. And you get a peek at Kyler Murray, the dangerous offensive weapon now in his third season in the National Football League. And I thought it was a really nice performance last week by him. Three touchdown passes. I think that signifies it. He did have the one interception. Murray now on first down. Uses the stiffer. We get a look at what Ertz did receiving-wise last week. Three catches, 66 yards, and a touchdown. And he's able to pull that last pass in, but this is usually a pretty tough unit to try and maneuver against. They're in the top 10 in the league against the pass, and you and I both know there's not much difference between 1 and 10. And they run the option on second down. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now we get a look at Aaron Rodgers as he gets set to lead this Green Bay Packer offense. Rodgers now in his 17th season in the league, and of course, Coming off the MVP trophy. I think Aaron Rodgers is one of the poster boys for persistence and belief in self. Because coming out of high school, he had zero scholarship offers in the D1 level. Went to a junior college. Went to Cal and just blew up there. And then, of course, is a first-round draft pick, but a lot lower than what he expected in the first round. And then had to sit behind Brett Favre for a few years in Green Bay before getting his shot. Come on, now he's probably one of the better quarterbacks that we've seen come down the pipe. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Now the man from UTEP. This is Aaron Jones. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Now Charles, you talk about this offense in this week eight of the 2021 campaign. Now, normally this would be the halfway point of the season, but as we all know, it's now a 17-game regular season. 
And because of that, it seems like now, maybe more than ever, getting your open week to occur later in the season, that could be a pretty big advantage. Brandon, it's always been a big advantage. And now, as you pointed out, the possibility of it becoming huge, likely most teams want that later open date because of injuries, you know, getting that rest before the playoff push, all of those things. Sometimes when you get an open date early in the season, it's not very much of an advantage. You might be playing well, not slows down your momentum. This is a big deal, and teams definitely like it. The later, the better. Charles, Thursday night game, I think a lot of teams probably say shrink the playbook somewhat. Is that correct? I think you're right about that because you just don't have the amount of time that you have in a normal week to put in a full playbook. So as you said, you shrink the playbook, pick out the plays that work best for you. You know what else you're looking for? What's that? Who are the freshest guys coming off the last game to play on a Thursday night? Guys have a little extra pep in their step. You go to them early and often. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. And it's second down. His throw incomplete. Robert Tunyon, the intended target. And it's third down. Rodgers to throw once more. And he'll let this go deep for Lazard. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield. And this might be a roughing call. Well, instead of fourth down after the incompletion, it'll be first down roughing the passer. Coaches love their defenses to be aggressive, but they want them to be smart as well. Have to leave the quarterback alone at a certain point. Rodgers throw here pulled in by Lazard. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Now look out, Rodgers lost the football. Place to fumble down here in the red zone. At least they got it. They'll have another shot. Or no, they won't have another shot. It's going to be fourth down. Maybe they can at least salvage three. And they were thinking six points because at this position of the field, it's go time, right? You take your shots at the end zone. They weren't able to do that one. So you look over at the sideline. There's a head coach saying, oh, heck, kick it. Field goal time. And Crosby puts it through, and the Packers are off to a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they have three first downs and three points. And he takes this. Just a little pass there. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. Back in Arizona, second quarter action. It's the Cardinals in possession as they're looking at a second down and nine to go. Edmonds going to get the handoff here on the option. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. They'll go out to the flat for Edmonds. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards short of the first as the tackle is made at the 33. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here's Andy Lee now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. 
And a fair catch called for and made just inside the 35-yard line. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. We're in the second quarter. They've got the lead. The lead, though, not so much because of the ground game, because of their air attack, Charles. So what they're seeing so far is the possibility of things loosening up later in the ground game. Through the air first, maybe they have to start respecting that even more as the game goes on, and then there will be running lanes to find later. Yeah, try to get him more involved here on this drive, maybe. It'll be a two-yard game, and all of a sudden here, it's third down. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The football back in the hands of the Arizona Cardinals. As mentioned, this one of the hottest teams in the NFL, riding that winning streak into this one. But now... Murray going to throw. On the screen, this is Edmonds. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Well, you and I, partner, we got the form assignment this week, an unbeaten team against a one-loss team. Really, not much separating these two entering play here today. Not much at all, I think, for both coaches. They've looked at their team and said, guys, you got to know what you're getting into in this one, and you better be ready to go because you get to answer the big question of the day. Are we as good as we think we are? We're about to find out. And he's not even going to get back to the line of scrimmage. Well, they tried to catch him by surprise, I think, there with that little pop pass on third down, but no luck. You're right about no luck, but I did like the idea. I like the thought process. Make an unconventional call on third down sometimes. It can pop big. In this case, it didn't. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So here are the Packers now to take over. Their win streak at six coming in and counting as they've got the lead right now, beginning this drive first and 10. Here's Rodgers. He's got the hook up to Lazard. A gain of six there on first. Second and four. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. A throw complete to the tight end, Tunyon. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and more. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline. You know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport state. To throw again on second down. Rodgers. And Rodgers is going to go down. He's sacked. Chandler Jones in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. 2020 wasn't the year that Chandler Jones would normally have because of a biceps injury. Only one sack in the five games played, but he had 17 sacks in 2017, 19 in 2019. Let's play some numerology here. Can he have 21 in 2021? Rodgers now after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. 
And he's got some space here. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 42 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Rodgers now on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he's going to have a first down here. They're here also go. in a field goal go. range now at the 27-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first down, Rodgers. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again on second and ten. Rodgers over the middle. That's caught by Adams. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Cardinals' 15-yard line. Rodgers finding Adams for a Packer first. Into the red zone. It's Rodgers. That's complete to Cobb. A gain of six there on first. Four yards remain on second down. Ball on the ten. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Rodgers again now. This one swung out here to Jones. And the Packers are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. So we've reached halftime. All we have to show for the first half, a lone field goal. 3-0 our score. As we send you on out to our studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. All right, guys, thanks very much. We'll get back with you shortly. But first, let's take a look at what's coming up this weekend around the NFL. In the early window, lots of good matchups to choose from. We'll highlight the game in Detroit. A big one. Well, why don't we hold off on the halftime update after all? Seems like everyone's ready to go here for the second half in week eight in the NFL. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. Well, the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three, and they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's caught here by Adams. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Second down, another shot for Jones. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now, Lumen. To throw is Rodgers. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third in less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Throwing on first down is Rodgers. Caught by Cobb. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there were very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Rodgers going to throw. 
And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Well, thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. One heck of a third down conversion, 33 yards. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. Throwing now is Rodgers. Toward the pylon, caught! Touchdown! Robert Tunyon, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give them a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Crosby with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. So that one, a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. No run back here, down to a Let's knee, go. and this drive will start at the 25. The Cardinals offense now ready to get their first opportunity here in the second half. And their deficit a little wider than it was at halftime. Does that touchdown a minute ago change the... Come up now, second and four from the 31. Murray a give to Edmonds on the option, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Consecutive runs of six yards gives him a first and 10. They'll run on first down, Edmonds. Room to run past midfield, and he's gonna get this into enemy territory at the 45. 18 on that one, and the Cardinals have a first down. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. And he tries to keep the legs churning, but he's going to be stopped behind the line. I think this running game, or should I say lack of one, is making this defense look better than what they really are. After the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. And now Murray's going to set up the throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. here in this Thursday night matchup. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back to the desert. We're in Glendale. It's Cardinal football, but they trail here as we get set to bring you the fourth and final quarter. On first and 10, here's Murray. That's out to the flat for Edmonds. 
And he is out of bounds inside the 30. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, the magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, but guess what? We see the end result. Right now, they have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. Really nice gain on the completion. However, still third and goal that they face now. To throw, it's Murray. Caught on the slant. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Connor. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona. James Conner with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cardinals have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. But just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in after report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance, blocking, and getting their runner across the goal line. Now Matt Prater for the point after. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive goes eight plays. And it was a touchdown run by James Conner that was the exclamation mark. After the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. Looking up at the lights, and he muffs it. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Let's go! The Packers offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is, is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That was a nicely run slam route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. On now is the Packers punter, as he'll punt it away for the second time. Now a hit and a loose football, and the Packers pick it up. And he will bring this one back, a fumble return for a Green Bay touchdown. Now that's got to be so disappointing for a defense. You, know, you force the fumble, think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the football, you also give up a touchdown as well. Yeah, you just think to yourself, you've done all the hard work, right? You forced the fumble, but when they didn't come up with it, I think they relaxed a little bit or maybe lost their focus as well and it ended up turning out to be a touchdown. And now before the ball changes hands, they're going to take a look at this just to make sure that they have it right. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need clear possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. To throw is Murray. That's complete to Edmonds, his running back. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. Murray now to throw. 
He'll get this to his running back, Edmonds. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought he's down at the 41. That'll go as a pickup of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and 10. Throwing again, Murray. Flushed out, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Dean Lowry, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. And Murray gets this into the hands of Edmonds. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Here's Murray as he sets to throw it. And that is incomplete. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Now Murray's gotta have this one. Going deep for Hopkins. And it's incomplete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. Less than two to play with just a field goal separating these two sides. How about this? They'll try the option. Left side. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 154 left as they call the timeout defensively. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Whistles now and a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. The cards going nickel. An extra defensive back out there now on third down. They'll go again to Jones. And they'll get him down at about the 37, well short of the first. The Cardinals forced to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. He's got the distance, but it's no good. Wide to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. Maybe an important fourth quarter miss as this stays a three-point game. Yeah, now overtime is very much in the equation here. Just what you mentioned, a three-point game. They get a drive, put it through the post. We could have some free football, couldn't we? Kyler Murray now in the Cardinal offense. Down 10-7, just over a minute. Murray to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Cardinals got to go quickly. Hustling to the line. This is caught. It's Kirk. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And that one results in 35 yards. Every defensive staff harps on limiting explosive plays. <laughs> Job not so well done there. Yeah, they talk about it all the time. A lot harder to stop, though, isn't it? And when you think of an explosive play, most offensive staffs define them as passes of 20 or more yards and runs of 15 or more yards. They went zooming past that number there. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. To throw is Murray. Throw right side is going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Oh, 
Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. And it's caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll... And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. How many people watching this one right here gave up? Because that score, they might want to try and rush back into this stadium. <laughs> yeah. What looks like is going to be the game-deciding score, although a little bit of time left, so you can't count your chickens before they're hatched. Well, they better come back in here and watch this one, because you and I... And now remember, all touchdowns are reviewed, and in a tight game like this, they're going to take a good, long look at it. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Extra point good by Prater, and the lead is now 14 to 10. And after the touchdown, out is Prater to kick. The dangerous Hill now to return. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. One possession game, <laughs> time very much a factor. How does the offense handle this situation? Well, in a lot of cases, they should be somewhat relaxed. And I know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation. But this is Friday practice every week of the season. You go over this situation, having to go downfield, limited timeouts, got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up. Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, and it's going to lead to third down. He's going to let it fly. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Buda Baker with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead. On second down, this is Edmonds. And he is going to be stopped here at the line of scrimmage. And time is going to expire in this football game. So it's a win here for the Arizona Cardinals. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for the Cardinals, they continue.